Hello everyone, welcome back to my Tony movie reviews. So this week I watched uh, four movies and um, one of the movies I watched was The Night Clerk. So yesterday I went to watch the last full show and um, there were only a few people in the, in the movie house. Uh, even though it was a holiday, it was going to be a holiday the next day. So the Night Clerk uh, stars uh, Ty Sheridan, uh, Anna de Armas of Knives Out, and the supporting characters were done by John Leguizamo and Helen Hunt. So that was the reason why I decided to watch the movie because um, I'm a big fan of both the older actors, uh, John Leguizamo and Helen Hunt. So this movie it was directed by Michael Christopher and also written by him. So anyway, um, the movie has a very good premise. No? There's this um, night clerk working in a hotel and um, he has Asperger's syndrome. So I think this, this is the second time I encountered a movie which has this kind of um, autism. The first one was the I don't remember the title anymore, but was it was it 500 Days of Summer? I'm not so sure. But anyway, so in this, or Adam, was it Adam? Anyway, never mind. So, uh, Ty Sheridan plays the night clerk in this movie, and he has uh, an advanced case of Asperger's Syndrome. Um, so I don't know much about autism, right? So I'm just basing it on what the movie kind of told the viewers, and of course how how Ty Sheridan acts so um, he repeats again and again he repeats that um, he has doesn't have really the social skills to interact daily with people so he has to practice uh, not talking too much or just talk enough so as not to bother people so anyway um, his character has a has a secret. He has his secret thing that he loves to do, which is a bit creepy, because he puts he puts these cameras all around the room, the hotel room, and then what he does is he uh, if he likes a certain guest, usually a female, a sexy female guest, he would ask the girl to go to that or the woman to go to that room. So that sets up the whole story of the movie. Um, so what happens is uh, somebody dies. No? A woman is murdered, and then he becomes the prime sus one of the suspects, not really the prime suspect, because um, he accidentally leaves uh, one of his discs inside the inside the room. Okay. Um, in the hands of another director, this movie could have been really, really good, no? Because uh, because of his because of his of Ty Sheridan's character, where um, you if you were the investigator, you would know how to handle because um, is this kid keeping something or is he telling the truth? So anyway, that would have been that would have made the movie more compelling, but. It turns out um, it was a it was like a, a kid did the movie. I mean, um, it's not very polished. Um, the characters would have. Uh, I mean, the the plot could have been more um, dark you know, or interesting uh, because it's in the same mold as Gone Girl. You know, those those dark movies where the female characters you don't know if they have secret agendas or they have motives because in the story in the movie uh, a second female comes into the scene and that's Anna de Armas and she plays the role really good she is like a femme fatale no? and the twist is um, uh, Ty Sheridan's character falls in love with her or thinks he falls in love with her or is infatuated with her so um, through the course of the movie something happens which uh, he thinks he's trying to help Anna Anna's character but well uh, something happens in the end no? which 
which I thought would really be suspenseful, but it turns out it wrapped up rather very quickly. It wrapped up very quickly, and um, before you knew it, the lights were on. Like, oh, oh, okay. So what happened? Oh, that quick. So um, you, <laughs> I was ready for a big bang finale. It ended with a whimper. So. Well, the plus sides of this movie, um, Ty Sheridan, acting very good, and um, as well as Anna de Armas. These two really carry the whole movie, and they really try their best <laughs> with, what they can, with what they can do with the script. But otherwise, um, the characters could have been made more interesting. Um, well, Ty Sheridan is very cute. I, I heard he's in the movie Ready Player One, but um, I'm interested to see him in more movies. I've also didn't see Anna de Armas in Knives Out, so this is also the first time I saw her. She's amazing. She's an amazing actress. I'm sure Hollywood's going to hire her more. But, um, well, if you want to watch this movie, you can. But there's nothing... That can really there's nothing memorable about it. It's like um, watching one of those Sunday night movie trailer, uh, movie uh, late night late night TV shows. No? Um, unfortunately, also John Leguizamo and and Helen Hunt are underutilized in this movie. They uh, they kind of uh, hang out in the fringes, trying to find something important to do, but because of the writing their character is very limited the character development is very limited um, the funny thing is I chose this movie over Little Women I could have chosen Little Women but I'll watch that tonight um, yes I was disappointed by the movie I thought it was really in I thought it would really be interesting um, if you want to watch it I guess just wait for the the paid download to come out um, because even in the theater you'd expect more suspense but since the directing is not very suspenseful uh, you might fall asleep so well you can skip the night clerk if you want so anyway that's it for now I'll have four other movies coming up to review so thank you for listening and um, see you next time